Good morning. Or is it a good morning? Because has the vet called? No. <sighs> Am I going to be that annoying person who calls them today? It's going to be me. Welcome to my unrenovated garage. Michael's parents picked this freezer up for us because we're going to be feeding Oaks different food now. We needed a place to kind of store it all. Hospital. This is Casey speaking. How can I help you? Hi, I was just calling to see if um, you guys had heard anything. I had um, Oaks in for a biopsy on on Wednesday or Tuesday of last week. I'm only calling just because he's not very, doing very well, so I just wanted to see if there was any results. He did get his um, culture back. Um, it's just the um, histology report that we did not get back yet. Okay. Um, that that can kind of take up to a week to two weeks. I apologize. Oh, it's okay. Sorry. Um, they told me like one to three days when I was in. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the, the biopsies usually take a little bit longer than the culture results. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't know if there was, um, if that's what they were kind of... Referring thinking. to maybe, yeah. I apologize. That's yeah. okay. Um, I did just speak with Dr. Megan. Um, she said that the antibiotics that he's on right now is is appropriate for um, the culture results. Okay. Um, but she would like him to be on some more antibiotics just until we get those um, histology report back for his biopsy. Yeah, okay. I don't know if you want to pass along to Megan, just that like he seems to be in like a very bad flare up. I feel like we have to do something. Like, I just feel like he's suffering. It's like taking over his body. So I don't know if like we should just up his steroids, which like typically works in the past just to like get us through. Okay, yeah, I can definitely pass that along and then maybe she can kind of give you some advice when she emails over the, the results. Does that sound okay? Yeah, that sounds totally fine. She also said that if he will tolerate it at all, you could try to bait him. I actually think that would be a really good thing to do. Okay, thank you so okay. much. Thank you are just so welcome. wonderful to talk to. I don't know what it is about you, but you just like are so calming. <laughs> so oh, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> There's miscommunication, which is okay, but it's gonna take probably another week for biopsy results. In the meantime, they want to keep him on an antibiotic, which I think is a great idea, and they want to bathe him, which I also think is a great idea. I literally think it's going to help him feel so much better. So we're going to bathe him today. I just don't know if I should bathe him at home, which is not super fun because it's like a lot on your back, or if I should take him to like the pet place. I just feel like it's going to be a really thorough bathing, and I'm going to take up the spot for a while, you know? I um, got a lot of comments on the last couple of videos about people asking how they can donate to my dogs, I guess. And as kind as I think that is, my gosh, I would never ask for your money. Like, I don't want you to just send me your hard earned money. But it's so kind that people want to help me do this. Like, it's it's the kindest thing in the entire world and so as per um a bunch of people's requests i made an amazon wish list for the dogs by no means do you need to do that at all at all at all but i've put things on there that like we use all the time and i'm like i'm literally blown away i have to just i have to just show you this i use this joint formula you can imagine with the amount of dogs i have that this lasts like, like a couple weeks. We go through it so quickly. And Alicia, she sent us two of them. Like this is such a huge expense. I know it probably doesn't seem like it, but when you have six dogs, it's so expensive to buy on top of food and everything. And like, I just can't even express what, a, what this means that you like you chose to spend your money on these dogs who literally do, they deserve it but I just I'm and not only that but she also got us um, some hemp oil so 
I need to be adding some oil to Oaks's food. I'm hesitant to do fish oil at the present moment because he flares up with a lot of things. So hemp oil is like a good alternative to fish oil. It's plant-based. Thank you so much, Alicia. Like, I know that you've sent stuff before and I just like, I feel so incredibly loved and I, I know that if the dogs knew that they would also feel incredibly loved. So thank you so much. Like. It brings tears to my eyes that you guys care about them like I do. It's like... Uh, and I'm assuming this stuff is also from the list because uh, I didn't buy anything. We've got some treats which we use to train Leroy. He's very food motivated. Um, favorite Laneige um, balm and then also the sleeping mask in peppermint Alyssa <laughs> I don't even know I spend so much time like by myself it's so crazy that real people watching these videos like care it's just so cool and so nice and I feel so lucky so thank you <laughs> I need to collect myself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alicia said more. Oh my. Alicia. So this is the supplements that I put on um, Hotch and Nelly's food. This is stuff that literally adds up so quickly. Thank you, Alicia. <laughs> like. I don't understand why. Just thank you so much. I wish you guys were my next door neighbor. Like I wish, I wish that's who I lived. I wish I lived next to you guys and you guys could just like come over and hang out and, and wouldn't that be so nice if you just got to pick your neighbors? This is so heavy, whatever is in here. More treats for Lily. I mean, everybody gets them, well, but like, you know. We've got two peanut butters. We got a new lift bowl, which I'm learning that I prefer to the mats, and I think the dogs prefer to the mats too. So, okay, who spoiled us? Caitlin, it says sending all my love to you and all the pups. Like, I'm gonna cry again. I'm just speechless, seriously. I feel like I have like two friends in real life, but I feel like, we, like, like, Caitlin, you want me friends? <laughs> like, do you guys want me my friend? It's so cool to have people care about the dogs. Oh my god. These are the dog's favorite treats. They're these beef tender sticks and these freeze-dried beef liver. Oh, much love to you and the pups from Amanda. Amanda, you don't live that far from me. We could legitimately be hangout friends. I saw this on my own Amazon account. I'm pretty sure Michael ordered this stuff. Some of their favorite treats. Somebody's favorite ball. Say thank you, Dad. I'm so lucky to have you guys watching my videos and the dogs are so lucky as well. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Put your head in it. You put your head in it. Oh. 
guys look, it's snowing. Aww. Man. I bought a food processor. Why, you say? If I have to chop another vegetable, I'm, uh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Kinda of bad that it's not white, but I couldn't, I couldn't go one more day. Should I haul my groceries? I bought 12 cans of carrots because I couldn't find frozen carrots anywhere or even fresh carrots. I don't know, two grocery stores, none in stock. I can't tell you why. Two big bags of broccoli. I bought three wa different water filters for the house. I'll show you this another day, I'm sure. I bought bagels. I'm not a big red gal, but I just wanted them. Watermelon, eggs, two bananas, white cleaning vinegar, granola bars, two things of raspberries. I'm really into dipping apples into caramel. Impossible nuggets, because they're chef's kiss. Got some Twizzlers, some laundry detergent. I have to say, this is too pink. It, it just is. I need a little less pink than this. One wash and it will be perfect, but it's just so pink. <laughs> Yeah, I think that this is much better and much easy, much easier to digest for oaks. So putting this in with some meat. Um, have I lost my mind? No, no. I'm just trying to make my dog better. What do you wear when it's three degrees outside, feels like minus one, and you want to cut the grass one last time before winter? I'm just wondering, I bought this brand new North Face coat a couple of winters ago. Then I had to buy a new coat because I gained weight. I'm wondering if it fits. Uh, still snug. <laughs> Wishful thinking, I think I need to lose another like 20 pounds. Might be overdoing it, but it's cold and I'm gonna be up there for like a couple hours, you know? Gloves just in case, I mean it is November 1st. Shall we time our poop pickup grass cutting? I just feel like it gives you an idea of like what I do in a day kind of. So it's 12.30 starting. I'm gonna guess we'll be done by two or 2.30. This is my poop pickup bucket. <laughs> I might have just enough gas to cut the lawn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be good. I've got a full tank. I'm good, but we are out of gas. So I'm gonna have to get some gas. back what do we think I think my what was my guess too I'm gonna take 20 minutes off whatever the time it was because I just took all the dogs out to pee it's 2 18 so 20 2 o'clock I was I'm very accurate so I can't pick up Oaks's um, medication until 5 it's 2 20 I think I might just edit this vlog and post it I think that's what I'm gonna do maybe make some lunch and then See you guys in the next vlog. I know it's November, but I still feel like it's summer. <laughs> Why is it so cold out? Okay, bye.